and good luck to you. Now, today's first guest has been putting the willies up audiences across the UK for some months now, touring with a thriller based on the works of Charles Dickens. Sheltering in a mansion from the winds that tear across the surrounding moor, two men stumble upon a terrifying secret that's set to change their lives forever. Here to chill us and to thrill us, we hope, please welcome Paul Nicholas. <laughs> How good you look. Oh, what, for a man of 110? No, <laughs> but you don't look any different, Part really. He's lost his curls. Your I've curls lost my hair. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm losing my hair and, and I've let it go natural because the part I'm playing, I'm playing two parts. I'm playing a lord in this play and I'm playing my father. So this is the father. <laughs> And I play a younger man as well with a wig and a mm. sort of a ball pin, uh, ball pin, is it, at the back of my head? Mm. You know what those are, I to, don't know. to do all that. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> so uh, that's well, why. Where did you get those from? <laughs> <laughs> You've seen them. You can get them in Smith's, I think. Really? Oh, the it's a, thing. It, yeah, a bulldog oh. pin. Oh, all, oh. Yeah. Okay. Easy. So that's what I'm doing. So uh, that's why I'm looking natural. You, well, you I look like very it. good on it. Do you like it, Natural? I, like it. I, I said to my like wife, it. look, I'm going on the loose swimming. Do you think I should do a bit of um, <laughs> no, I Tony? Like it, then she it. said, no, you are who you are. I said, yes, an old fool. Aww. <laughs> so tell us about the play. Is it scary? Is it going to be too scary for it you? It is scary, yeah. I, I'm, I did it last year with Sean Maguire, who I think came on the show. And it's basically based on the uh, Dickens ghost stories. The guy's put the, the five best stories together and made one play. And uh, there are just two of us in it, me and Charlie Clements, who was on Easter. He's this. great, isn't Bradley. he? Yeah. Yeah. Bradley. Oh, Bradley. Bradley. Yeah, so he's doing it with, with me, and uh, we're just doing a little tour. And, uh, and we, the reaction we had last year was very frightening, and people do get frightened by it. It is quite scary. Oh. Um, How so, do you create that, though? How do you create that kind of fear? Well, I think, it, I think it's the anticipation of something happening rather than something happening. Do you know what I mean? It's the idea of something happening. Mm. So there's a ghost in it, but we don't quite see, ever see the ghost. And, and there are a lot of sound effects, so people do a lot of that, because mm -hmm. it sort of hits them, you know, like you get in the movies. So it's something it, I think is very special to theatre and, and, um, and really works, judging from, from the audience's reaction so mm. far. Now, Zoe, you, you, you worked with Zoe very early on in her career, didn't I you? I did. Didn't I do your first uh, tour? Well, we did Jesus Christ Superstar with David Ian. Was that your first production as a producer? I, I think we'd done one other before that, but, uh, but that certainly was one of the first. And Zoe was one of the... Because you know Zoe can sing. You must have heard Zoe <laughs> sing. She can, yeah. She's a brilliant singer. Oh, She's an amazing singer. What, were you, amazing playing, what were you playing in Jesus Christ Superstar, Well, Zoe? I was one of the rock chicks. We, do you know what? We had the best time. It was only a five-week tour. And, it's, yeah. and, that was, and I would just remember chatting to you and having utmost respect for you because you, I just thought you never go home and you're still <laughs> touring and I was what 23 then I'm 40 now yeah. so that you've been so touring a again. long time <laughs> <laughs> you've just been doing panto as well haven't you, you yeah I've just stop. been in playing Captain Hill. yeah I think my problem is I don't have any hobbies you know some people have other interests so do you I play don't... golf yet you need to no I don't play golf I once played golf and I got told off by the women members for making too much noise but <laughs> if it takes 36 holes to get it in the you yeah, know yeah. strokes you want to mm -hmm. you make a bit of noise so, uh, no, I don't. My life really is about touring and work. producing and work. work. Yeah. You obviously work still it. love it. I do love it. I have more fun doing that. You know, I don't... Ha I, you, you were talking about friends just now, weren't you? Yeah. I don't have a lot of friends. <laughs> oh, not... no. No, 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 because the, but that's, oh, no. that's by choice. That, but that's by choice that's because... because you're always working. Because yeah. I'm always working. So my friends really are my family, my, my mm. wife and my kids. And, you know, that's... And, you know, you talk about getting home to see something. Well, I like to see my front door because I'm away so much. Mm. Yeah, it's nice uh, when it hasn't been kicked in, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I like to see my wife. And it's nice to be in your own bed, you know. Yeah. So those are the things that I like. But I guess... Yes, at the end of the day, what I really love doing most of all is working. Mm. Do you think you'll not have a rest one day? Because I know you've got like two weeks off between the panto and the play starting That's again. Right. And you're still working, aren't you? You're not even having a. a yeah, holiday. well, I've got, I mean, I've got to promote the, 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 the play that we're yeah. doing. So there's all that when you're not doing it. Mm. Um, and, but it's what you do. And if, and if it's what you love and you're lucky enough to still be doing it, mm. uh, why not do it? Mm. Don't you think, girls? Well, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I admire your. Um, your work ethic because you, you've, you've been producing in the West End and touring productions and, and with movies so successfully so, for so long that really you don't need to work. So this really is, is all about passion for you, isn't it? Yeah, and it's also about fun because, you know, I have more fun on stage. I mean, we've just been doing this panto. Uh, lovely audience, a lot of audience participation. 
and you just have a good time up there. You know, it's not like having to go on there and do Shakespeare. But it's night. also really hard work, Panto. You do two shows every, every day without single day. a day off. But it keeps you fit. You mm. don't have to go to the gym. Yeah. There's lots of lovely, uh, you know, ladies in the show and lots of lovely people around the show. And it's just a big party every night. So mm. it's like going out and, and having a Is good it? time. I mean, does your wife, is your wife quite happy for you to be away all the time? <laughs> well, the great thing about does my... Does she know what you look like? Yeah. My, 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 I, don't, I don't understand that. Uh, yeah, she, oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, 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 yeah she does. <laughs> yeah, uh, it took me a bit of time. Yeah, no, the great thing about my wife and the terrific thing about her is she has her own life. She's, she's always busy. I mean, I can very, very rarely get hold of her because she's out with friends, she's doing things, she's, she works and, and all sorts of things. So, so, so your wife's got friends? Yeah, she's got loads of friends. It's just you then. It's Billy just me. No, mate. Oh. <laughs> Wait, but I do have friends. All no, my family are my friends. Don't ruin it now. You said you didn't. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you be my friend then. Oh. Thank you. Can you ever see yourself retiring, you know, nice yacht in the south of France, doing nothing all day? No. No. No, I, I mean, the idea of... I've been on... I don't know if you've ever done those kind of cruises and things. Mm. I mean, after about two days, you're going crazy, aren't you, on those boats, you no, know? No, I love it, mate. Do you love all that? Oh, oh, I'm a queen oh, grandma. Oh, I love what, you, them. Do you do a bit of cruising, do you? Yeah. I love it. I love the sun. I love laying back, and my, swimming with a... Pina colada. I well, love so it. you could, but how long can you do that before you start to get about a bit a week. crazy? About yeah, a week. about a week. That's yeah. right. Well, about a week is okay, but yeah. any any longer than that, and you begin to get a bit stir crazy. I find. Mm. Yeah. So you're not one for downtime. See, now Carol, if she was in your position, just would not be here. No way would I be working. Colleen would also be with Carol, Absolutely not working. Not. You would. I wouldn't. Well, what would you do all day? You can't no, shop you, all day you? long and yeah. do those no, and gym and... She'd be on the computer. She'd be on the computer. She'd be, be with her lying around, you yeah. know, enjoying the session. I know. The perfect thing, I think, would be like a two-day week. I'd like to work two days and have five days Well, that, that's... I mean, the, the, what you have to remember with actors and performers, as we all know, is that you're not always working. You've got to take you know, it when you, it comes, You've got to take it when it's... And the opportunities aren't always there. Yeah. So as performers, when they come, and if they still keep asking, it's very difficult to say no. Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah. yeah. I've always found it difficult to say no. <laughs> so I've heard. No. <laughs> <laughs> Your reputation for CJ. Yeah. Well, you open uh, at the Theatre Royal in Windsor on the 7th of February. Yeah. Very best of luck with that. Thank, Thank you, you for coming so much. in today. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Nicholas. Thank you.